Mediterranean Sea is one of the most overfished places on Earth. Its future depends on all fishers playing by the rules and keeping their catches sustainable. But how to ensure this in a vast sea crisscrossed by national borders? We are on board the Ocean Sentinel. This vessel, run by the European Fisheries Control Agency, is patrolling the international waters of the Adriatic Sea between Italy and Croatia. In the wheelhouse, Andrea Patalano, the EFCA's coordinator for control operations, prepares his morning briefing with the inspection team. Why do we have a European Union patrol vessel? It's to let member countries put their own inspectors on board. This way we can share insights, best practices and aim for a unified approach in inspections and control activities. Alongside Andrea and another Italian inspector, the team also includes a drone pilot and a pair of fishing inspectors from Croatia. It's a great mix. We swap experiences and collaborate. That's crucial because the Adriatic is a sea that is shared. These two fishing boats working side by side are the first to be inspected this morning. The teams radio through to the fishermen to give them a heads up. All clear, no objections. Moments after, a speedboat zooms off from the Ocean Sentinel carrying the inspection team to the fishing boats at sea. These fishermen, many from the same family, haul in anchovies and sardines to market them across Germany, Italy and Spain. For Captain Dario Lacchini, inspections are no big deal. In fact, he's all for them. We are a family operation, and our reputation and product matter to us. We are young guys looking to the future. With regular inspections like this, everyone's more likely to follow the rules, which should lead to even better catches down the line. A tricky part of the inspector's job is stepping from one moving boat to another out in the open sea, and that's even more challenging in bad weather. But today's inspection seems to go smoothly, starting with the paperwork. Everything's in check, from the fishing license to the catch log. We're not here to crack down hard on people. It's more about ongoing prevention. Over the years, most fishermen have gotten the message. They're open to inspections and, more importantly, they're fishing by the book. Nikola Bavila and his Croatian counterpart Domagoj Bojko confirmed that the fishing net's mesh size is within legal bounds. <laughs> In this case, the inspection was successful. The captain of the fishing vessel was very cooperative. And both the gear and the catch were in compliance with European regulations. With all the paperwork, fishing gear, catches and monitoring systems checked out, the team heads back to the Ocean Sentinel for a debrief. They've got a busy 12 days ahead, filled with more inspections like this one. It's all part of a broader multi-purpose maritime operation in the Adriatic, aimed at boosting European collaboration on fishery control and other Coast Guard duties. The overarching goal, to learn from this experience to tighten the bonds between EU member states, pool resources and share know-how, closing any remaining gaps in fishery control. The whole operation is steered from EFCA's headquarters in Vigo, Spain, and it's a real team effort. Working hand-in-hand -hand with EFCA are officers from the European Maritime Safety Agency, or EMSA, and Frontex, the European Border and Coast Guard Agency. When it comes to fishery control, sharing data among these agencies and national authorities can fine-tune the targeting. It helps zero in on fishing boats that are more likely to be breaking the rules. It is impossible for any of us to inspect every vessel. So what every single member state has in common is we want to make sure when we do inspections that we know what the risks are of the vessels that we're inspecting and we can do that by working together. We also want to make sure that we're doing the most cost-effective uh, methods of control as well and the most efficient.
We see more examples of this interagency collaboration on board the Ocean Sentinel. This container packed with EMSA's oil spill gear means we're ready for emergency cleanups should any pollution accidents happen nearby. EFCA's aircraft is scanning the larger operational area, while Frontex boats are keeping an eye on the Croatian coast. And each inspection is backed up by an EMSA drone. It captures a bird's eye view of the fishing boat without tipping off the fishermen. Normally, the target vessel doesn't acknowledge that there is a drone in the air. It's very quiet, it can zoom 30 times. So if they do something, maybe if they want to throw something overboard or discard uh, catches and stuff, hopefully I can catch that through the drone. We're setting our sights on another Italian fishing boat. This one's a bottom trawler, scooping up a mixed bag of flat fish and other bottom living creatures. This fishing method is often criticized by environmentalists. If the strict guidelines are ignored, the negative impact can be very serious. Based on shared data, the European team assessed the risks and flagged this boat for priority inspection. Their concerns are validated. Not only do they find the bottom trawler missing a current catch log, its vessel monitoring system also appears to have been tampered with. To make matters worse, the net fails the test. Its mesh is too small and its twine too thick, which makes the gear illegal. Next, there's a whole follow-up process carried out by the national authorities which involves calling the fishing vessel back to port and implementing further measures by the flag state authorities. This could include administrative penalties, confiscation of the catch and seizure of the illegal gear found on board. In just the last year, EFCA coordinated close to 50,000 fishing inspections throughout the EU, uncovering more than 5,000 infractions but the number of rule-abiding fishermen seems to be on the rise. There is a growing awareness of the need to comply with the rules for the benefit of everyone, primarily the fishermen themselves, but also all coastal communities. There is still work to be done, and that's exactly why we are out here. Better cooperation leads to better controls, helping ensure there's still fish in the sea tomorrow.